Hello everyone! This is Mario Star Plus Luigi, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we made it to Dry Dry Outpost, and now uh, we're gonna continue in Dry Dry Outpost in this part, so. Uh, this guy, this dude right here, so I guess what? Um, uh, I am terrible at pronouncing names, let me tell you that right now. Mouse. Mouse. I forget his name now. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. Oh? I'm not sure how to find it exactly, however. You should go there, huh? Yeah, hey, why don't you say something else? So this guy can tell you some pretty good secrets. Um, um, so yeah, I just saw this, um, where there's a stone cactus, go three south and two west. Um, that brings you to... brings you to the um, oasis where we got our oh wait one minute oh what's this Whee! anyways um that brings you to the oasis where we got our you know get a upgrade your partner okay i recommend actually coming back here because trust me it's just good i'm talking to this fortune teller Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue, I'm Merlene. Really, you see, that's me. So this is Merlene. She, um, what you can do is you can buy a special spell of hers and she will help you with battle. I do recommend buying this and... Um... I recommend getting the special course, which we'll get to pick in a second. Yeah, special course, 50 coins. And she helps you with battle. Now, this spell does run out eventually, so... Now I think about it, we actually see her in an action, like in this part. Either at the end of a... Well, what she can do is she can give you better defense just randomly for one turn, obviously. Um, better defense, better offense. Um, what else is there? She can give you more star points after a battle. She can give you more coins after a battle. I believe that's all she can do. But I mean, that's still good because that can come of use because there could be an enemy who gives you like 20 star points that would be a serious person. And then, um, if she doubles the star points, you can get 40 star points. So, that was the person I was talking about uh, last part, saying you can bribe him with a lime. Um, all he'll do is if you bribe him, he'll tell you the secret code right here. But, um, this code doesn't cost, this does cost coins. You have to buy stuff in this exact, in an exact order. Right here is just the uh, checking items. Checking means that they store them for you. Now, I'm checking my Ultra Shroom because, I mean, might as well because I don't have 50 HP right now, so it's pretty um, useless. At, well, it's good at this point because you want to have it later on when you actually have around 50 HP, so you'll get the full benefit of it. Anyways, what you have to do is buy a Dried Shroom and then a Dusty Hammer. Dusty Hammers suck, so. Instead of dried, I mean, dried shroom, dried shroom using 1 HP and a dusty hammer just one, um, takes away 1 HP from an enemy. I mean, like, that sucks. It has a 1 damage. Point of damage, whatever. So, pretty much, now when we do that code, that mysterious mouse, mouse, I forget his name, it's. I know that guy just told me right now, but I wasn't paying attention. It was Mosafa. I mean, how much I've played this game, I mean, I can't even remember the name. Because it has been a couple months since my last playthrough. And here I accidentally clicked A too fast, so what I was trying to do was um, to claim some items. I wanted to claim back the whack of the bump. I just put it in storage because I need to have room in my inventory to get the dusty hand dry trim. So now we can head over here in the the door is no longer locked. So we can now go up here to find those sofa or whatever his name is. And uh yeah. So we got the letter. Hooray. As you can see this video is also longer. Hooray for long videos! I mean, I, for 
I've been doing this game slow for doing it, and uh, post commentary should be faster because I can cut stuff out and everything. Ooh, a green, a moldy mouse. Yes, yes, Mostafa. I never did really. I don't know. I mean, this guy's not important, anyways, really. You just talk to him here. I mean, he's not like. He's a huge role in the game. This is the only time you have to see him. They're pretty. I, I believe it's something like he's a. Mouse Mafia or whatever. So he's talking about Dry Dry Ruins, and that is where our next star spirit was um, being held captive, if you remember. So he's you, this will, Pulse Stone will help us get to Dry Dry Ruins, where the star spirit is being held captive, and obviously where the boss is. Right. So uh, he's getting us here, will flash above our heads when we get close. The closer you can get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash in our face for whatever reason. So that's pretty good. Yes, but we are gonna go to the Toad House and sleep. How did you sleep well? Good luck to you out there. Yeah, sometimes at a Toad House you get items. I believe... I know there's... It's in Chapter 7. For sure, and I believe there's another chapter too. Okay, that worm in the background with the top hat, that's Chuck Wismo. He gets star... He's a pretty much... You answer he, his questions, you can get star pieces. I'm gonna do that later on. Like, all at once. So we have a new enemy, the Pokey. Um, pretty much you can't jump on Pokies because they get hurt. So you have to either use Cooper or um, Park Harry's, you know, Shell Dive. Then no, also we have some bandits in this battle. Please note this battle is pretty long. But anyway, these bandits are gonna rob us because they're poor. So, once again, just like we did last time, just, you know, jump on them and, you know, get the ones back, or, you know, you can hide them and they hammer, whatever you want to do. This is the long battle that I think about. Oh, well, no. Does it really matter? I mean, with long videos like these, I'll just be going through this game. And Mr. Pokey is there. Pokey's on 4 HP. Uh, no defense. And, um, obviously, I like the. Like, I just explained the, uh. You can't jump on them. Try to make the. Spiny Goombas. So, these dudes are all dead. I mean, I don't know why the bandits are in the desert. It makes no sense. There's we got stwel Stwelve? Twelve servers out of that one. Our magic is already coming into effect. Anyways, it's going to increase the number of coins. As you see, we got a lot of coins here. So that's great. Okay, what I recommend doing, uh, coming all the way up to the top. Like, I mean, to the top of the uh, Keep going up. So you can't go up anymore. So, like here, let's just go like that. Uh, and you'll find it easily. This is what I always do to get through it easily. But you can get a couple coins out of that, so that's what I'm trying. Yeah, and then just going to the little yeah. This, this room had lots of pokies. I could battle with everyone. But now we got a fire flower I'm gonna go. So let's continue on. And then, you know, it's not too far. I believe it's the next screen. I was going to a battle there. I mean, not this screen, like the next screen after this one. Oh. Yes, it is. Let's go to the stone. Put the 
impulse thrown in it. And then a cutscene. Hooray for cutscenes! So now I'd say we are more than halfway down chapter two, because the ruins aren't too big. They're actually rather small. So we're more than halfway down this chapter. Way more. Anyways, our Colorado freaking out. The uh, Muslims. Or Safa Da, whatever the heck his name is. So, I don't know why this really becomes nighttime. But, anyways, the stairs emerge. It's so creepy. Yes, I also have Cooper out in a battle, that's why he's there. Cause I actually re recommend using Cooper for these uh, pokey battles. Anyways, so we just got a new badge. It's actually a pretty good badge. It's the Spike Shield badge. Pretty much what that badge does is enables you to jump on spiked enemies. So yes, I was just rearranging my badges. Hey, the Inquay Camera. You saw what that did. You can read it. And I just cut out these battles because you know we don't want to see battles all day. And then I just came back here to uh, uh, regain my one health power. So yes, I'm sorry I didn't show me leveling up. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I knew I leveled up here. I'm like, wait, did I edit that in? But it was already too late because uh, anyways, the enemies do respond. Like it was too late because I had already like totally edited the video and I was about to record the commentary here. So anyway, just easy enough puzzle. They try to put some puzzles in here but they're easy. Then you're just gonna lower the sand and that will just go. Yeah. In that same room where we got the key, so easy enough, just go down through there. Ignore my warning, how I do! You will fall to my legion to become mummy of the sand. Anyway, so there's a new enemy up here. If I could ever use you for this battle. Interesting. These are buzzy beetles. They're just like Koopas. Just so um, they come up quickly. Koopas are down for two turns. Fuzzy Beetles are only down for one, but they still only have four HP. And they have, like, very high defense. Like, if you bomb them, when, like, bomb at the bomb them, when they're, like, up like that, they will not take any damage. So, you know, these guys have really good defense. And, oh, um, actually, you can attack them if she gives you an increase in. Oh, I can't believe I don't show So anyways, what you want to do first is use power carry right here, then blow up the ball. And what you do 
do so. We have another one of these puzzles where you just empty the sand down below. piece over here. So you might want to pick that up. I saw something. I don't even use peekaboo yet. I mean, I bought it. I haven't used it yet. I'll use it for chapter 3. Maybe even chapter 2 boss. I have still not decided. But what you want to do is... Come down here. This is where the key is used to go. Just enter this room. As you can see, there's something up there, but I can't deal with that right now. Hooray, we get an item. <laughs> Not. We have to fight three mummies. And since this is a necessary battle, I just showed it. And we have the next battle we're actually going to get to it. But. Yes, I recommend Cooper for these battles, because he won't get hurt by attacking them. And then Mario can now jump on them. But I must have the action command there. And there. And there. There we go. And the action command right there. And the action. Well, I guess next time we'll be talking about the new enemy that's going to be seen. Anyways, up on the ceiling there, you'll see a bat. Those are swoopers. Um, swoopers have 4 HP. And to get them down from here, you can either, either use part of carry to attack or you can make your fall down here. So you can jump off of them all. But when we're the ceiling, you can attack. They have no defense, and the attack power is two. Obviously, it's not a cool one. So, yeah. So, I better not talk about anything now because, um, if the battle's almost over. Yeah, so I recommend Quake Hammer. It also damages the enemies on the ground as well. And, uh, Just a thing. Oh. Actually, looks super. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go high. Okay. Oh yes, and she's watching. Oh, she's gonna give us more star points. So this has been about all the time I've had. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like this video, and add it to your favorites. And tell your friends, family, enemies, even enemies about me. So this has been Mario Star Plus 3D, and I'll see you guys next time when we advance the Dragon Runs. See ya!